Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about overcoming the fear of what other people think. You know, fear is or can be one of the most debilitating things that, that affect us in our life, that hold us back from doing things that we want to do, that hold us back from becoming uh, the person that, that we can become. One of the, the fears that many of us experience is worrying what other people think about us. So we're going to talk about that today and we're going to explore and identify some of the beliefs that drive our behavior. We're going to identify some of the false beliefs that may be part of who we are and why we do what we do and then replace those with beliefs that are based on truth or principle. So why would I be afraid of what someone else thinks and especially what they think of me. Does it really matter what another person thinks of me and does what they think about me have anything to do with me at all? Or does it have to do more with the other person who's doing the thinking? You know most of us struggle with our own self-worth, our value, and we tend to struggle with self-esteem. Most of us grow up getting our value externally. So we really do worry about what other people think. We grow up trying to please our parents and we want them to be proud of us. We grow up trying to live up to the expectations that other people have of us. We are conditioned to believe that if other people approve of us or like what we do, then we must be okay. But again, if we think about that belief, it's self-evidently true that that is a false belief. Just because we meet the approval of somebody else, that does not mean that we're okay. We can behave in inappropriate ways or harmful ways and find people that approve of that, but that doesn't then mean that I am an okay person, all I'm doing is living up to somebody else's expectations. We want to look at and make sure that the beliefs that we have are based on principle or truth. And the truth about us as individuals and our value is that every human being has value. When we are born into this world, we come with value attached to us. Now we get to decide what we do with the tools that we have as an individual, we get to decide what we do with our personality, with our own uh, talents that we have, and what we do as far as creating value out in the world. But as far as intrinsic value, each one of us has that and it exists within us. So let's go back to what other people think about us. Think about this. if somebody else thinks that I am unimportant, does that mean that I am unimportant? If somebody thinks that I am funny, well, I'm funny to that person, but somebody else may find me irritating or annoying. And so instead of spending all of our time worried about what other people think of us, if we pay attention to the beliefs that are driving our behavior. So my belief is that if somebody thinks negatively of me, then that means there's something wrong with me. I'm going to spend all of my time and energy behaving in ways trying to seek the approval of others. And the truth is, if we go to the principle of control, we know that we can't control anybody else. And so in trying to control what somebody else thinks of me, I'm giving away my control. If I have fear based on what other people think of me, 
Now I'm allowing fear to govern my behavior. So instead of behaving this way, because I'm afraid of what somebody may think, so this is the way I want to behave. This is being true to myself. But because somebody criticizes me or somebody laughs at me for doing this, I choose to give up that behavior. So I choose to give up a part of who I am. Well, it may be that in a different circumstance or situation or with a different person, when I behaved in that same way, they may like what I did. They may see that what I did as funny or beneficial or useful. So again, either way, I'm basing who I am on what other people think of me. Fear actually doesn't even exist except for here in our mind. And so anytime we're allowing fear to control us, we're allowing something that doesn't really even exist to keep us from doing or being who or what we want to be. So the way to overcome a fear of what other people think of us is to recognize that what other people think has nothing at all to do with us. It has to do with themselves and their conditioning in their life. It has to do with the beliefs that they have about themselves more so than about us. If we can recognize that, that fear is just all up here in our mind and that we don't need to allow fear to hold us back and that what other people think about us has nothing to do with who we are, this then frees us up to focus more on ourself and what we think and feel about ourselves, and to realize that what we think is really the only thing that really matters. And what we want to do is to be true to ourself. That's the only way for us to really learn and grow and become who we have the potential to become in our life. So we need to be true to ourself. We need to behave in accordance with what we do believe and how we see ourselves, and then pay attention to the outcomes of those beliefs. Is it helping us to grow and to become all we want to become? Or is it not giving us the outcomes that we want? If it's not, then we can change our behavior. But we're doing that all based on ourself rather than on what somebody else thinks. So I encourage you to recognize who you truly, truly are, to realize that, that you're an amazing individual. You know, as my son Austin says, you know, we're all a miracle and we have the potential to do amazing things with our lives and in this world. So trust in yourself. Eliminate the fear that you have of what other people think. Go ahead and, and live your life in accordance with what you believe and who you really are. Learn from the outcomes of those choices. Make modifications and adjustments as you need to. Try again and continue to move forward doing what works and replacing what's not working with new behaviors until you find what does work in that situation. Thanks for joining us today. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so that you'll get daily notifications. And if you like what we are sharing with you, share it with your friends and family.